Uh, kia ora tato, uh, ko Andrew Sargent, toko emua. I'm here with uh, Shane Omani from Pera Pera Umu College. Um, Shane is going to show us his homemade uh, Barton's pendulum. No, not Barton's pendulum, wave pendulum. Um, all right, Shane, do you want to talk us over how you built this contraption? <laughs> right. Um, I suppose I saw an example of it on the internet and I thought, oh yeah, I could make that. Um, these are nuts from uh, Mitre 10. I chose them because they could, uh, they're could consistent uh, and they are easy to hook up. Um, this is just uh, standard um, builder's line and when you put them to there. Yeah. So how did you figure out exactly what lengths um, each of the strings should be? Excel. <laughs> Um, the principle is that you decide on uh, the longest uh, length that you want um, and what period that generates um, and then you are looking that each one smaller takes uh, one swing longer to reach the same um, Time from memory. From, from, from memory. Uh, can you know? Can you remember how many swings it takes them to get back into sync again? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couple of years ago that yeah. I made this, and uh, it just sits there. And yeah. Um, so. If we do, if we can find the Excel spreadsheet, we'll oh, I'll yeah. link it in the description. Yeah. Um, we'll come around to the other side and just have a look at how things are attached. Um, so we can see it's just a like a single piece of ply. It looks like it's just been cut in, so I'm guessing you made all those measurements down and yes. these had to be all quite exact? Yes. And you did the jigsaw or...? Uh, jigsaw. Jigsaw. Jigsaw, oh, okay. jigsaw cutting. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the string going up, so I'm guessing you pre-drilled the holes, oh. glued it, and then did you line it up that way? Or oh, no. Um, got the, drilled the holes, I put the string through, screwed it in, uh, then um, tuned it. So how did you tune it? Well, you just by swinging yeah. it and just seeing if there's any that are noticeably out of alignment. And then how would you, you adjust just, And then you just pull this, you know, up, up to half a turn, pull the string, retighten. And once I was happy with it, uh, I glued the uh, string so they don't shift. That's very clever. Cool, I think that's about it. Anything else to add if, if someone else was building this? Any like tips and tricks? Have a have a reasonable space to lay it out. Um, when I made it, I actually ran a uh, a rod through the the nuts, uh, and which I could bolt them in place yeah, so yeah. that they weren't shifting uh, when I adjusted the the wood on the other side. So yes, it uh, you don't have to be too far out in your measurements to not um, yeah. get a good working pendulum. Yep. Cool. I think the takeaway for me was that uh, having these wee screws, you can like not glue until the very, very end, so you can adjust it. Yes. Um, because yeah, these are very fiddly in terms of the periods. Right. Thank you, Shane, for uh, showing uh, how you build a wave pendulum.